Some of you may have seen a version of this video on Bizbo's international channel BSBO. This is an updated version specific to Indian audiences. The trade war between the US and China is spilling over into the Arctic Circle. So when the US president, who made his fortune in real estate properties across Washington DC, Manhattan and Las Vegas, made a suggestion to buy Greenland and even promised not to spoil its beauty, most people dismissed it as yet another harebrained scheme of a power-obsessed wannabe dictator. She's crazy like a fool. But is he? He's crazy like a fox. Trump's play is strategic. Firstly, the Arctic has 22% of the world's reserves of natural gas, oil and minerals. A haul available to its neighbours, but not accessible to China. Secondly, Greenland along with China own two-thirds of the world's rare earth minerals and can dominate over US industries that can't do without them. Like those making smartphones, supercomputers, networking equipment, electric cars, laser surgeries and defence. China is already using this dominance as a leverage in trade negotiations with the US, who import 80% of rare earth requirements from them. We will not allow US access to rare earth minerals. Presently, a majority of Greenland's mineral deposits are still difficult to reach hidden under sheets of thick ice that cover 81% of its surface area. The island nation has already lost 250 billion tons of ice in 2019, enough water for the world for 40 years. But with global warming melting layers of ice, soon all these deposits would be accessible. One of its icebergs, the Jacobsen Glacier, is believed to have sunk the Titanic in 1912. Melting of ice will also open up shorter trade routes, dubbed by China as the Polar Silk Route, slashing the time it takes to reach Asia by 20 days. After Greenland repealed its ban on mining radioactive material, China used the association with an Australian mining company to extract uranium from Carvensfeld, believed to have the six largest uranium deposits. Like Hong Kong and Macau in China, Greenland is a semi-autonomous territory of the Kingdom of Denmark. The world's largest island, only because Australia is defined as a continent, is approximately half the size of India and have their own parliament, the Incisartut, established in 1979. And an elected prime minister who, like his Dane counterpart, rejected Trump's offer outright. Greenland is not for sale. That's absurd. But bowing to US pressure, Greenland disallowed China's 2016 bid for Gronendal or Blue US 7, a former US naval base. The US next scuttled China's proposed three airports worth 600 million that would promote tourism by allowing direct flights from Europe and North America. When Hitler captured Denmark in 1940, America under US President Franklin D. Roosevelt occupied Greenland, a Danish colony since 1775, as a protectorate setting up an air base at Thule, 1,200 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle, as a refueling station for long-range bombing missions and as an advanced warning post. Today, the highly strategic 600-strong base stations the US Air Force Space Command's 21st Space Wing, equipped with advanced warning and control AWAC ballistic missile systems. Serving as a counter to both China and Russia, the latter who reoccupied its abandoned Soviet military base at Kotelny Island in the Arctic in 2016. After World War II, the US tried to buy parts of Greenland for the second time. We are ready to pay a hundred million dollars in gold. Declassified documents published in Yellen's Posten show how at first the US offered Denmark parts of Point Barrow, Alaska in exchange for strategic portions of Greenland. But Denmark refused. Had they agreed, Denmark would have been much richer as 20 years later, US's largest oil reserves were discovered in Prudhoe Bay area. Plus, they would have saved on $670 million in annual subsidies they have been giving just 56,000 Greenlanders, most of them local Inuits who constitute 88% of the population. Despite Greenland's potential, lack of infrastructure and financing still hamstring its economy, which at $3.2 billion is one thousandth that of India's $3.2 trillion. Many parts of the United States have been bought from other countries, 
In 1803, it bought Louisiana from France for 15 million dollars. 1819 bought Florida from Spain for 5 million. During the mid 1800s, USA paid Spain nearly 30 million dollars for buying various territories including Texas and California, known as the Gadsden Purchase. In 1867, it bought Alaska from Russia for 7.2 million dollars. That same year, US President Andrew Johnson tried buying Greenland for the first time. And in 1917, they bought Danish West Indies from Denmark for 25 million, renaming it Virgin Islands. Other countries too have been buying land. 1878, France bought Saint Barthélemy in the West Indies from Sweden for 320,000 French franc. 1899, Germany bought Caroline and Marina Islands from Spain. 1947, former USSR Russia bought the Finnish territory of Janiskowski Nikaskowski for 700 million Finnish marka. 1958 Pakistan bought Gwadar port from Oman for 5.5 billion Pakistani rupees and in 1991 China bought 1000 square kilometers of the Pamir mountain range from Tajikistan Although Trump has not quoted a figure the Washington Post calculated Greenland's value to be around 1.7 trillion Normally it's third time lucky but it hasn't been so for the US This boys liberate Trump makes a play for mineral rich Greenland to outmaneuver China's world dominance plan but the Inuits decline say the land is mine it's not for the first time Americans have tried their hand subscribe to bisbo and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever bisbo releases a new video sources of all our information is listed in the video description section